an alleged kidnapping in South L.A. around 92nd and Broadway, and that's triggered some sort of pursuit. Want to go live now to the scene? Desmond Shaw, live in Sky 9 for us. Uh, Desmond? Yeah, Ron, we are over northbound Main Street right now, and you are taking a look at an extremely slow speed pursuit involving a uh, kidnapping suspect. 87th place and Main is where we are right now. It's going to be this uh, Chevy Suburban. Now, they're calling they call this a kidnapping because a ground unit from the new division actually witnessed them, them themselves. They said that they saw someone forcibly force... Uh, for a, a female into the vehicle and speed away after they tried to pull them over, they would not yield. So that's the uh, pursuit that we're in right now. Northbound on Main Street as uh, we come through the South LA area. We do have a possible kidnapping victim inside. As you were saying, it's a woman and very fortunate for her indeed that the officers were in the nearby area. Has been in the same area and um, just look for a moment there like the, the driver is actually driving with no hands on the way. You saw you had one and there, oh, yeah. there again now with both hands uh, outside LAPD is going to get out of their car we'll see they just want to be prepared but now it doesn't look like this person wants to come to a stop just yet southbound on Broadway away from 82nd now you see more LAPD oh, yeah. more spike more strips, spike strips uh, yeah Now that we're looking at the, uh, the the windshield there, that front shot, Desmond, can you see uh, somebody in the uh, passenger seat? I'm, I'm, I, I think I see somebody, but I'm not. Yep, I, I see some movement there in the passenger seat. Yeah, definitely somebody fidgeting around there, and we had heard that this person was trying to escape the vehicle, and that is why LAPD does not want to conduct a, a mm -hmm. pit maneuver on this. And now we're starting to see some people there uh, on the intersections, on the crosswalks, kind of uh, taking up some space in that area too, which is also very dangerous because we don't know what's going to happen. Now you can see, it looks like at the moment, whoever is driving is not driving with, with any hands. If they're driving with, oh with one gosh. of their legs... Uh, right now, uh, up against the steering wheel, but you can see one hand out the window behind the mirror and the other hand outside of the sunroof. You can't imagine the noise inside the, the car right there with that rubber just hitting the, the wheelbase, the wheel well. Uh, looks like they're pulling over now just a little bit, or maybe they're going to make a right-hand turn. Uh, let's see what's going to happen here. But officers right behind them. Officers were in the South L.A. area. Um, story about an alleged kidnapping victim. They saw maybe some sort of struggle. Somebody uh, pulling uh, what we think is a woman inside uh, this car. And that's when officers went ahead and engaged. And very quickly, as you saw there, um, definitely a lot of police presence in South Los Angeles. We don't know exactly um, what the relationship is between these two people. Um, if this uh, driver maybe has a weapon with him. Again, don't know. Desmond, it looks like they've made a left-hand turn. Are they just uh, making a Yui there? Yep, sure it looks like it. A lot of spectators now coming out to look at this as well. Northbound on Broadway. It's really been in the same the same vicinity uh, of a mile or two, Juan, coming back up to 89th Street. This is very near where it began. I believe it may have started off of San Pedro Street. Very, very low speeds. Only a matter of time before the uh, two tires yep. give out. And we may see uh, LAPD up ahead again initiate a, another spike. But we're now coming to a complete stop. Let's see what happens here. I would think some kind of negotiations taking place since this is a kidnapping suspect. This isn't just one person in the car, but now you see the uh, other door opening up, so that's that's more of a of a good sign. But they want to be sure that they're not going to agitate this person in any way. I heard the chatter they were asking if, they, well, now the door just closed again. Yeah. But. yeah, I agree with you, Desmond. Definitely they want to make sure that, oh, here we go. The uh, passenger door is opening. Perhaps just in case we don't know what the uh, driver is going to do, maybe they want this uh, woman. There it is. She's saying, uh, I've got nothing here. They're asking her to get out of the way, possibly before they uh, make a move uh, on the guy in the car there. So she's now out of the uh, car, put her hands behind her back and, and walking towards officers. Again, officers need to be so careful. They don't know exactly what type of conversation these two had, what their relationship is, what's going on. By getting her out of the way, making her feel at least safe, she's safe, she's out of the way, she'll be out of cuffs in just a minute. 
once they get her story. Uh, but again, the next move now is going to get this uh, driver out of the car. It is strange that he hasn't gotten out of the vehicle uh, at this point, now that we have the, the supposed victim out. Um, it's unclear if there may be anyone in the back seat, but I would just think that you can see some words being exchanged, but that this person should be getting out of the vehicle uh, without any other issue. She's been talking to officers now. Um, what we are looking at is the, perhaps he can't open the door. He's slippily coming out the uh, window there, Desmond. Maybe uh, his driver door doesn't work. I don't know. That's uh, that's a strange one. Now he's just kind of sitting oh, on yeah. top. And, well, okay. Very casual. Hands about up, as yeah. casually as possible getting out of the way. And uh, now he does have his hands up. So this is very good. So it seems like he is uh, starting to um, hear what they're what, what they're telling him, but he isn't making any any uh, moves right now. The good news is, as far as we know, um, no one was injured here along the uh, pursuit. Um, we do believe spike strips were deployed just due to the damage that was caused. Things are just going uh, really at a snail's pace as far as uh, bringing this uh, to a conclusion. Uh, it looked like he was getting ready to lift up his tank top and hopefully show that he wasn't armed with anything, but now let's see if he's finally going to be getting down. Just this very strange movement, so it's really unclear what, what kind of conversation yeah. uh, they're having right now. I'm sure they just want to be absolutely sure that this person isn't armed so that they can uh, conclude this. It's just kind of standard protocol. Thank you so much, um, Desmond. Now he's going down on his knees. Meantime, I want to welcome our viewers to an early edition of uh, KCAL 9 News at 4. We've been on for the last 15 or so minutes watching this breaking news unfold, and here we see police moving in. Yeah, finally started to see this uh, officially at a conclusion. It looked like one, it looked like they wanted to clear that vehicle before they uh, came up to the suspect, maybe to make sure there was nobody else inside, especially since this was uh, reported, or LAPD you know, was saying that this was an alleged kidnapping attempt. So that may have just been part of the protocol, but they want to do that.